Hi guys, this is Fan of Thomas 31 and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use Miku Miku Effect on MMD. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to learnmmd.com and go to the download section and scroll down until you find these images that say MM Effects. Now, this is the 34-bit and the 64-bit, no, 32-bit, I'm sorry. I'll link this site in the description so uh, you guys can see uh, where to get Miku Miku Effect. So, after you download Miku Miku Effect, well, nothing really changed in the software itself because you have to go drag and drop some files into the software. So it should come into your downloads unless you've chosen a different folder for where your downloads go. Now it should look something like this. So you just want to open that. And then you want to go into the folder. Uh, Alright, so you just want to go in the folder and you want to take these three files called d3 d9 mme effect and mm hack now don't be alarmed by this file name it's it won't hurt your computer and it's completely allowed so you just want to take these three files and you want to copy them then go to the or go to the location where your mmd is located now, in this little folder where you see the little icon, you want to paste the files here. Okay? And now you want to go launch MMD. Oh, hey, I'm using OBS, yeah. Uh, launch MMD. Hello? Alright, there you go. And now you're going to see this thing that says MM effect right up here alright so now I'm gonna show you how to use it so let's just choose a random model let's go to I'll choose I'll use Thomas for this one cuz why not oh my mouse is acting up so stop alright so after your model loads in, uh, you can use MM Effect on any model. If you want to find an effect, all you have to do is search MME and a supposed effect that you want. It may exist and it may not. So for Thomas, we're going to use the green shader effect. So you want to click MM Effect and then you want to click the model name of the model you want to apply the effect to and then you click set effect and now you go through your computer files and you find the effect you want to apply in this case I want to use the green shader effect so when you find the effect click it and then click OK now sometimes it may take a little while for your model to load or effect I mean so we'll just wait Okay, now look at how realistic Thomas looks now. He looks so much better than he did earlier. Oh yeah, um, MM Effect files, uh, well, MMD models have either a PMD or X at the end of them. MME Effect files have FX at the end of them. So that's how you know it's compatible with MM Effect. And that's it. That's it. That's how you use and download MME Effect. Or, yeah. So if you have any questions or problems, I can't guarantee that I can help you or answer your questions. But ask them anyway, and I'll see what I can do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.